we need to get ready to go, don't we? Push! For eight years, the Nation family have been consumed by an obsession. For 73, 98, 97. 69, 98, 100. They've left their home on the southeast coast of England to live in the cold climes of northern Norway. Spending their weekends chasing the planet's most extraordinary and colourful phenomenon. The Northern Lights, or the Aurora Borealis. It's an addiction, it's an absolute full-blown addiction. It's a buzz and it's a rush of adrenaline and it's a holding of your breath and... <gasps> wow. The Aurora Borealis is a light show like no other. Let's see if I can find a corona. OK, this is like... A, this is a corona. You get this... you get this purple or pink in the centre, then the green comes out of the purple and then the, the white part that you can see is where it almost overexposes and that's the part that tends to move very quick. Well, our eldest, Aurora, she's 11. She's fascinated by why do those different gases make those different colours. Oh, she, she likes the pink because she likes pink. It's her favourite colour. And Lyrica is quite a fact box on everything. She can explain to you what causes an aurora, where it comes from, the technical names, and you know what the magnetic field does and how it stops the solar wind from harming us. The aurora's ethereal colours are created when energetic particles from the sun interact with the Earth's upper atmosphere. When they strike gas atoms, the energy makes those atoms vibrate and photons of light are released to dance across the dark night sky. However, the aurora can be elusive. To see it from Earth, conditions have to be just right. Part of the fun is succeeding against the odds. And we've gone out in, in weather like this and, and then it's suddenly cleared and then the skies have suddenly opened up. To give themselves the best chance, the family pick a spot and set up camp under the stars. Actually, that is not a bad fire, is it? That's on the main place. Mum, are you going to burn it? They wait. Sometimes for hours. The chances of seeing the Aurora Borealis are greater up here within the Arctic Circle because the charged particles streaming out from the sun are drawn towards the magnetic North Pole. Oh, 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 oh. I can see some uprights there. some pinks at yeah, the bottom. Yeah, it's going to duck around. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Ooh. 
but the aurora isn't simply beautiful. The colors are a code to the physical world because they reveal the chemistry of our skies. Each chemical element is unique and each one gives off photons of a particular color. The green comes from oxygen atoms, purple from nitrogen. The light shimmering across the sky reveals the oxygen and nitrogen rich atmosphere that envelops our planet. This kind of colored light doesn't only tell us about our world, it has also shown us the universe.